Welcome to Homestead Gardening in the Texas Gulf Coast with Kristen Howard. In this episode, we'll focus on the next steps for indeterminate tomato plants, including separating seedlings, planting outdoors, and fertilizing. This episode follows the pepper, eggplant, and tomato indoor seed starting episode, and you can find a link to that episode in the description. Some growers like to plant more than one seed per container and clip weaker seedlings. But did you know that you can easily separate plants growing in the same container? Separating plants young reduces the chance that the root systems will be intertwined. So here's what you do. Hydrate the soil in the container a few hours before you separate so the soil is not soggy, but not completely dry. Then carefully tease the roots apart from the base. The plants should separate easily. If for some reason they don't, make sure to keep the stronger plant with the most roots. When repotting the plants, fill the soil in the container halfway, create your labels and add them to each container, spread out the roots and fill with soil to the top without packing down. Water carefully but generously. Because roots will grow along the stem of the tomato plant, you can plant deeper in the pot this way for a stronger stem. This is also a great solution for any of the other plants in the nightshade family, like peppers or eggplants, that might have become leggy under your grow lights. Allow the plants to reestablish a few weeks and continue to grow roots before planting outdoors. My favorite planting trick for indeterminate tomatoes is to remove the lower leaves and plant a majority of the stem below ground. But many gardeners think this means you have to plant the stem deep in a raised bed. This isn't true. In fact, indeterminate tomato plants naturally want to ramble along the ground and put out roots wherever the stem touches soil. Additionally, although the plant will ramble, it likes to reach up for sunlight and bend at the stem. So let's take advantage of that with this trick. Instead of planting your tomato plants right away, set them on their side or at a 45 degree angle in a brightly lit location for a day or two before planting. The plants don't require full sun at this point, but just enough light for the plants to start bending and reaching up. Now we've created a small section of the tomato plant that will remain above ground, and a larger section of the plant will be below the soil surface and become the new root system. When seedlings develop first true leaves, you can begin to fertilize with a very diluted organic liquid fertilizer high in nitrogen, like a fish emulsion, one to three times a week. As the plant begins to grow larger, you can continue fertilizing per the package instructions with liquid fertilizer high in nitrogen. At the time of planting, use a rich compost mixed with your soil and add an organic balanced fertilizer or a fertilizer lower in nitrogen and higher in phosphorus, which will promote flower and fruit production instead of promoting leaf production. Organic fertilizers tend to have trace elements in addition to nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, which will add to the health of your plant and quality of your produce. 